Yo, what up? It's Realistic Videos, and this is an epic haul. And the thing that sucks, though, is that it's not mine. Uh, it's my friend Star Sapphire 21s, and if you want to check her out, her link is right below. Yeah, I didn't really pick up much stuff from BotCon because I ain't rolling in dough right now, but she got some awesome stuff right here. This is really, really sick. Can't wait to see this when she sets it up. She got some of the Encore cassettes right here. Really dope. I actually have all the cassettes, or I totally would have picked those up. I have all the original G1 cassettes. 40 bucks for Treadbolt. Alpha Prime Toys. We got it. You want it, so buy it. These Uniteds are looking sick. Whoa, I'm trying to get out of this lighting. We have some weird, like, we got some, like, ghetto lights set up right here. <laughs> um, Greg Berger signed Grimlock, which just makes it that much more awesome. Speaking of signings, check this out. We met Peter Cullen after the Hall of Fame, and he totally signed it, and he totally put a little heart for Star Sapphire. She got Power Glide. I'm not sure how much she got it for, but I'm going to try it. Oh, yes. Got Skywarp. Skywarp's a really, really dope figure. Um, of course, a bunch of the exclusives right up in here. It's funny because we had all this stuff piled up in the car on the way back from L.A. to the Bay. So, like, every time we would stop, like, hella Transformers would go flying. It was awesome. And these Uniteds, man, they're so dope. So jealous because I don't have one United figure. Here's some more Uniteds over here. Drift. Soundwave. That Soundwave looks really cool. Really, really like him. I like him much better than the original one. She got a bunch of the tiny figures. Backfire. Fire Trap. Insecticon. I'm not a huge fan of the smaller figures. But these are actually pretty cool. Two Breachers. I don't know why, but whatever. Uh, Robot Heroes. Got a little beachcomber right here. We got this little cute Venom right here. Ugh, can't get him. Okay. He was really cute. We got the really, really cool set right here. Aerial bots. We also have a, uh, we also have a bunch of sirens going off because Star lives in the ghetto. She got these United figures for 30 bucks. I just asked her. So that's actually not bad at all. It was, it was kind of hard to find good deals at BotCon, but she apparently got a few good deals, and I got a couple too. And these Stunticons actually look really cool. Um, I lied a little bit. I said I was going to do a full review on these, but I don't know if I'm ever going to. I have like a mini short review of them, and you can, if you want to see that, you can click below. And she got hella stuff. How much did you spend? About $1,000. She spent about $1,000. Wow. Oh hell no. Star got like a Rubik's Cube up in here like it's 1985. So speaking of 1985, I was really excited to see this in Star's Garage. This is from the Silverhawks. And I had one of these when I was little, and I seriously had no idea what it was. Like, I couldn't remember what it was for the life of me. And I don't know if it was my brother's or what, because it's, like, really old from, like, 1987. But I just remember playing with this, and I used to always, always do this right here. I used to open this up and, like, pick up my figures, like, my Transformers and my GoBots, probably. How embarrassing, I had GoBots. And you can see right here, he has this great anal feature, and you can just push your <laughs> push your finger on his anus. But yeah, he has a thing. I always remember that when I was little, like, that his eyes did that. I thought that was, like, the awesomest thing. Yo, and she's got this, like, humongous, huge pile of awesome-looking Mighty Mugs all over the place. I just found this in her garage also. It's like a mini lunchbox. It's big enough for about one hot dog, I guess. But this is awesome. This is, like, look who's back! But yeah, this is really, really, really cool. I think I'm just going to steal pretty much everything she owns. What's with all the stuffed animals? Are you a furry by chance? Perhaps. Perhaps, she says. Whoa. I dare you guys to Urban Dictionary furry if you don't know what it is. Also, I like how she has the rape mask in there conveniently. Here's some really, really cool artwork she picked up. All kinds of stuff going on in this picture. One Generation Shattered. This one's really dope. Look at that. Really, really cool. The Elite Guard. Sorry about the glare. I'm trying to get there. You go. Really dope. That is sick, dude. That purple. The colors on this look awesome. Check out this right here. <laughs> I love the expression on his face. Here's the tech specs right here. These are awesome. I'm so glad that they did all these like retro tech specs again. Really like these. Did they come with like a huge decoder <laughs> for all of them? <laughs> it totally should have. The cons. Let's see all these, all the Decepticons. And then also, 
these down here. And this is a part of my haul, one of the first things. I didn't get this at BotCon, obviously. Uh, we got it over at MaddieCollector.com. But, man, I am so excited about this. Like, seriously, like, I am having so many nerdgasms just holding this. I can't wait to review this. Alright, so here's my portion of the haul video. It's going to be a lot smaller than Star's. Um, I got this awesome book. This is actually the book from the G1 uh, Matrix box set. And I got Hella Signatures on it. I got Wally Burr, Paul Eiding, Neil Ross, Greg Berger, um, Dr. Smoove, and Randall Ng, which are two really awesome people. I was really, really excited, though, to get this Megatron right here. I already have the G1 Megatron, but this one just is so sick. And I'm just really, really, really excited. I can't wait to play with this. Also, my friend Star ended up getting me this Starscream animated easy figure. Really, really dope. Um, I love the clear figures. I actually don't have any Starscream animated figures at all in my collection, which is crazy, but now I finally got one. Also picked up an Action Master Soundwave and Wing Thing, which is missing a wing, <laughs> so that's kind of whack. And then, of course, I got my little Creo Optimus Prime here, and he's holding one of Venom's little things. Here, I'll show you. This is the Venom I ended up getting. I didn't get this at BotCon. Um, I ended up getting him in Walmart afterwards. Same thing with Phasing Vision. I finally got him, and um, he was I think he was found at a Walmart. I'm not sure. Also got the black costume Spider-Man and Magneto, which is really dope. And Wheeljack, Thundercracker, and Warpath. Also got a few cool things from the Hall of Fame, and this right here is really dope. It's got everyone's name on it. But yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to review this Megatron really soon. And let me know if there's anything else in this little tiny haul pile that you guys want me to review. And I'll see you guys soon. Peace.